So what is going on everyone, it's Kieran the Barber here and today what we're going to be doing is a low tape, um, a real real low tape skin fade into a one and then we're going to be chip, chopping into it and making it nice and messy texturized on top. So I start using my zero guard on the Andis clippers and I take it just between um, sort of where the temple starts to slope downwards. What I'll do is I'll flick up and I'll come nice and low just around the ear and then just on top of that occipital bone. From there I'll grab my Andis clipper comb, come up at a 90 degree angle, just start fading that zero guard in, just ever so slightly, just start removing that bulk just away from the hair. So now with my Andis um, US Pro Allies, I'm just going to get that zero guard and I'm just going to slightly start taking it very softly just round, like just below the ear between sort of sideburn and hair. Now me personally, one of my favourite ways to blend is my scissors, so the same, I'm going to get my scissors and I'm just going to come up at a 90 degree angle, start blending that in. Now with one of my favourite tools, the Super ZR, I'm going to put that line dead in now. So I'm going to go around both sides, making sure I go from skin on them sideburns, and then blend that up. Now look how sharp these Slimline Pro Allies are. Look at what detailed line you can get from these. Jesus. It just clears the hair, clears the area, no red marks. Absolutely amazing tool. Yes, okay, Avid. They are gapped, but they're not gapped that much. They're not gapped as much as you may think.
So what I'm going to do with Chasm's hair is, I want to keep quite a bit of that length. So I'm just going to bring that up slightly. Take off about half an inch. Just club cut into the hair. Making sure it's nice and straight. And then afterwards, just go for it, chip it into it. So now I comb the hair, not straight across, but more just slightly to an angle. And I'll just run the blade of the scissors just through the hair. And what that does is that feverizes, feverizes, that's not even the word, that feathers the hair slightly and it gives the hair some real, real good texture when you dry that in. So with my trigger happy texturizing spray, you just spray it into the hair and then you massage it in. The more you spray, the more gritty the hair becomes, which we want causes to be quite gritty. So I'm going to spray a few times in the hair. And then I'm going to use my barber dryer and my Chris Foster fuzz brush. All details in the description below, by the way. I'm just going to grab that hair. Come in, circle round and pull up. With the wildcat hair clay, um, a five pence piece, maybe a little bit bigger. Rub that right through into your hands, massage that into your hands. Don't be scared just to get right in there with it, pulling the hair up, pushing that into the direction of the place that you want it to go in. <laughs> 